So today I'm going to talk about bullies. Sneeko tried to bully a nerd, but got absolutely destroyed. Now, if you're not familiar with Sneeko, he used to be a very interesting and smart creator on YouTube who made pretty thought provoking content. But recently he took a turn with this content and now he's become one of the most insufferable people on the entire internet. If you remember, the last time we talked about him was when he was getting his ass handed to him by Moist Critical or Penguin Zero. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips! Whistle. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. The same way that this is also a mag. Now, if you remember correctly, he actually wanted to physically fight Critical because he calls out all these soy boys on the internet and he's a big strong man who actually fights, right? But are you really gonna sit, sit here and not call yourself a beta male? You can genuinely look in the mirror and not think that you're anything but a beta male soy boy? So keep that in mind for the rest of this video. So recently he decided to pick on a quote unquote nerd named Mikey Musumichi. And uh, let's just say he isn't your average nerd. It's called an Aoki lock. It's a modified heel hook, but- Jujitsu is for autistic people. What I think of a master of jujitsu is, is somebody that inspires another generation. Jujitsu, I swear, this is why I like striking. This is so- And this is a competition where you just, it's an art and it's an art form, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. So that's like a master to student. He's an idol of mine for being- <laughs> It's like a master to the student. Um, actually, this is a leg heel lock. He's saying he would make me tap. He probably would. He probably would. Now, unfortunately for our pal Sneeko, this nerd is actually Mikey Musumichi, who is the four-time world jujitsu champion. So this is just uh, an amazing person to pick on over here. And, and he's actually really mad at Sneeko. We'll take a look at his response later in the video. But for now, all you need to know is that Mikey could absolutely wipe the floor with this guy. Within 10 seconds, Sneeko would be begging for his goddamn life. Now, what you guys also don't know is that Sneeko is also a world champion in being a fucking dumbass keyboard warrior. Also, extremely classy move, making fun of his speech patterns and just the, the way he looks as well. That's just fucking amazing, dude. Apparently, Sneeko just never grew out of the high school, middle school phase where you make fun of people for things they can't really control about themselves, like their appearance and their speech patterns. Mikey Musumichi is a revolutionary grappler. The reigning one flyweight submission grappling world champion began training Brazilian jiu-jitsu at age four and entered one as a five-time IBJJF gold medalist. God damn, Jesus Christ, does not that that's definitely somebody I would not want to mess with. Only only Sneeko would attempt to call a fucking five four time world champion, whatever the hell, a, a nerd, dude. What the hell is actually wrong with you? It's like he's a he's a masochist. He just wants to get his ass beat. And I just don't know where he draws these sort of weird correlations like jujitsu is for autistic people. Like what kind of, like is that an attempt at a joke? What the even is that like it's not even a funny joke it's a it's a fighting sport what do you mean it's for autism like what i i'm just trying to understand like how did he connect those dots what the f is wrong with you listen i don't watch sneeko now so i don't know like what kind of content he makes now but is this really just it just making fun of random people and thinking you're like better than them somehow does this stream actually enjoy this those people who enjoy watching sneeko act like a complete buffoon on the internet is that, is that the entertainment he provides, just being a complete moron? Now, before we check out a co couple of responses, they go back and forth a bunch of times. I just wanted to show you this clip of Mikey on the Joe Rogan podcast because he's just a, such a wholesome guy. Another thing that's really unusual about you is your diet. Yes. <laughs> you're famous You're famous for eating pasta and homemade pizza. I make pizza and pasta every night. I have a pizza oven in my house and I roll out the dough, make everything. <laughs> and then uh, for dessert, I'll eat a pint of Dude, this guy is freaking awesome. He's like a positive optimistic. He's like a he's got that childlike feel and he lo hasn't lost it as an adult as well. That's freaking awesome, dude. I don't know why you would actually watch this and sort of make fun of the guy. I feel like you're a sad person for that. Okay, so here's Mikey's response to the whole situation. Let's just say I, I would not want to be sneaker right now. So today I'm going to talk about bullies. Bullies are weak people that make fun of others around them. They give themselves relevance and they make themselves feel good. They pick on the differences of humans, which is the most beautiful part of humans, their uniquenessness. I really don't like bullies, guys. And there's this guy named Sneeko making fun of me, making fun of my friend, making fun of jiu-jitsu. He calls himself a boxer. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Let's have an MMA fight. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. I'm going to shut his mouth 
And I'm gonna take the bully's lunch money. Holy freaking shit, dude. If a world champion, like a four-time world champion fighter, sent me a personal message saying he's gonna beat my ass and take my lunch money, I would I would move to Mars, bro. I'd be I'd be slobbering on Elon's cock asking him for a one-way ticket to Jupiter, dude. This is crazy. I don't know. Sneeko really picks like the worst fights ever. First he picks on Moist Critical, like one of the most loved people in the commentary community, thinking people are gonna be on his side. Well, having stuff like he's openly a cock and supports cuties out on the internet like there's so many skeletons in your closet buddy clean them up first jesus christ now here's a quick comparison of sneeko fighting versus mikey fighting <laughs> Well, I beat someone 200 kilos, so I don't think there's anyone bigger than that size. <laughs> Now this guy's like 60 killers or something. There's obviously weight divisions in, in jujitsu and stuff like that. But I've actually seen him take down like legitimately big people like four times his weight or something. So this guy's an absolute monster, dude. I, I just would not mess with him. Sneeko would not stand a chance. He'd have the exact same fate as his girlfriend and get fucked by another man. Now Sneeko's response to this whole thing was, Haha, I'm joking, lol. You're an autistic nerd, but I was joking, lol, lol. You're ugly, but I'm joking. Wall. I challenged Nico to an MMA fight. I'm gonna shut his mouth and I'm gonna take the bully's lunch money. I make jokes. I'm a streamer. I joke about everybody, me, chat, everything, all day, every day. What? I said in that video you're upset about, you would make me tap in Br Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You would win. In MMA, even with striking, you would go, this is what you would do. Grab my heel and do the same shit you did to your master. You would win. You're a world champion. I train boxing sometimes. What the f do you think the result was gonna be? Is this a skit? I was, I was looking at this and reading through the comments like, is everybody pranking me? Is everybody in on some sort of joke? Wow, surprise, surprise. Nico's actually a pussy. He only wants to fight people who are smaller than him or have no fighting experience at all. And when somebody actually challenges him to a fight, like Brandon Buckingham, he runs away. And uh, he, he's perfectly fine making fun of people on the internet like this. But the second he's actually confronted and put, asked to put his money where his mouth is, it's a joke, guys. I don't really care. Like, we are such a f loser dude oh my god of course mikey's gonna be mad you just made fun of his entire sport and his entire life work saying that jujitsu is for autistic people called him a nerd and made fun of him like he's a fighter of course he's gonna challenge you to a fight and he knows that you're you're a type of person who challenges people to the fight on the internet so he's kind of responded that way you know now shiko responded again i really want to get better at fighting because once again i want to reiterate i'm gonna be saying this throughout the stream um mikey musa messi i accept your offer I'm not gonna take any money. Uh, we don't need to do that at all. Uh, because you're a world champion and I am a complete beginner and I have no idea how to do MMA, I don't. Um, I've boxed a couple times, I've sparred, but I'm not, a, I'm not a professional fighter like you are. So I think to make it fair under one condition, I'm not gonna ask for a handicap, I'm just asking to have a conversation with your sparring partner, Mark Zuckerberg. I think that's how this all started. You said I was bullying you because I said you look like him. And I looked at your Instagram, you spar with him. You train and your buddies, your pals with Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> You let me have a conversation with Mark Zuckerberg about Zionism, friendly. Just ask him some questions because freedom of speech is important. Elon Musk proved it with Twitter how important freedom of speech is. Even Joe Rogan was talking about me on his last podcast. Joe Rogan, I'm not a bully. You need to look at the context. All I said was Mikey looks like Mark Zuckerberg, and he does. Mark Zuckerberg went on your podcast. Let Mark Zuckerberg come on mine. Yeah, Sneeko, I'm sure you have revolutionary ideas for Mark Zuckerberg that nobody ever has thought of before. Such a f***ing weirdo, dude. Just, just... Just admit you're Kako the Great and don't want to fight him, all right? Jesus Christ. So here we have Mikey responding once again. All right, so obviously Sneeko doesn't want to fight me. Adding in all these stupid stipulations he knows will never happen. Typical bully. They talk and they talk beyond the safety of their screen or even in the bathroom recklessly and they never face consequences. 
There's so many people out there like him. My goal here was to stand up to a bully. Kids, get yourself into Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu so you can learn self-defense and you don't have to deal with idiots like Sneeko. What can I say? He's a wholesome guy. That's a good message for the kids. Anyways, in conclusion, Sneeko's a massive loser and he should stop picking on people because he can't back it up. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Click this video. Bye-bye.